All right, so let us learn about SNAZ, which is a timer program that I use for broadcasts. It is robust. It has a lot of different ways to set up timers. Uh, and I don't know, it's just uh, fantastic. So um, the two kinds of timers that I use for shows are the countdown to specific time. And then the other one that I use is Chronos, uh, the Chrono Down. So I'm gonna show you how to use each of those. So the time and date countdown for the specific time I use for the show uh, at the start of the show when I wanna show how long until the show starts. So um, what you'll probably have here as defaults is just this part. So I typed in in the output format what I wanted to say next to the time. So I wrote the show begins in and then I have hours, minutes, and seconds. And then in the message when done, what do you want it to say when it runs down to zero? I wrote the show begins now. Okay, so then how this works is you see this little button here next to the, the time and date. Uh, it's a, when you hover over it, it says set date and time to current systems value. So if you click that, it's going to set this to the current date and current time um, based on your computer's clock. So now we're gonna set a future time. So let's say the show starts at 8.30. I'm gonna type 8.30, and then you can click Start to see it running. So it calculates based on the current time and the target time, how much time is left. And then it does basically a chrono down so it's counting down 37 minutes from now, it will be 8.30. Okay, so I'm gonna click stop, which is how you stop the timer, starts how you start it, boom, boom. And now you've got the path for the text file that, that, the, uh, that SNAZ is um, exporting the data to. So I'm gonna click copy path to clipboard. Okay, now in OBS, I'm gonna add a text source. And you can call it SNAZ um, Countdown Time. And then select font. I'm going to choose my font. I use uh, Montserrat. And we'll size this to 150. Okay. And then instead of typing the text, you're going to click Read from File. And then Browse. And then just paste the file path right here under file name and click open. Okay, now I'm gonna add um, a background opacity here for the background. I'm gonna click okay. And now if you click start, in a moment, boom, it pops up. And you can scale it, you can, you know, you can customize it as you would any text source in uh, OBS. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that this will align to the left no matter what. Even if you tell it in the text um, in the text thing to align center or align right, it does not matter. Because of the way that SNAZ works, it, it's just always going to align to the left. So if this timer were larger, let's say we had an hour and 35, then it would expand out to the right. And then as the clock ticks down and the hour part drops off, it is going to squeeze to the left. So if you put this, you know, if, if you try to justify this to the, the right side, it's, it's going to slowly creep away from the right edge. If you align it to the left edge, then you'll be fine because as this thing gets smaller, you're still gonna have the left edge at the same distance to the left. So um, just keep that in mind. You can kind of sneak it onto the center um, as long as um, you're not using a massive amount of time. And to your viewer, it's probably not going to be noticeable. So, I'm gonna put this up to the top and left and I'm gonna squeeze it down just a little bit. All right, 
So that's your show begins timer. Uh, now let's do a timer as if there is a match clock, okay? So here we go. I'm gonna switch to the chronos tab and I'm gonna use the chrono down. And so I've got it set up so that there's 25 minutes on the clock and in the output format, I've written one plus one time and then you leave the timing formula there for hours, minutes, and seconds. Uh, you can obviously change this portion to anything you want. You could say, oh, this is the 5 1 portion. I'm just going to change that to a 5. Or you could type match clock if you want. You can type anything there. And then message when done, you know, what do you want your timer to say when it's done? I'm going to say 5 plus 1 time up. Now, if you don't see a path here, you just click start. The path will show up. Then click copy path. Okay. Just to populate that. And then text, we'll call it SNES match clock. I'm going to pick my font that I use again. Obviously use whatever font works for you. This is just what I tend to use, typical for me. Okay. Read from file again. Browse. Paste your path here at the bottom. Click open. And OK. And now in order to place it in your scene, start that timer and then size it how you want. And there you go. Now you've got your countdown timer there. And one thing you'll notice here, if I pop that scene over there to the live scene and then I go to my starting soon, one thing that you'll notice is if I start this show begins countdown to specific time, these timers can run at the same time. So I've got my match clock running over here. I've got my show begins clock running over here. So SNAZ is capable of running multiple timers at a time. And so that's worth knowing. Okay. You've got all these different kinds of timers here. I would recommend that you explore all the different things that SNAZ can do. Uh, and uh, there you go. Leave a comment in the comment section if you have questions.